folks, welcome back. We've got an extraordinary episode of Whining About Pest Control for you today. I am Shell Hartzer of 360 Pest Consulting. If you're just flying in here, hit all those buttons down below. We got great stuff that you need to follow. I was in the Northeast for a couple weeks last month and they were getting a ton of rain. With all that rain comes insects. And one of the ones that I saw was the moth fly. So that's what we're gonna whine about today. I've got a nice light Sauvignon Blanc for those nice light flies and a small glass for those small flies, so cheers. Oh, that's a good one. These get many common names. Drain flies, sink flies, filter flies, sewer flies, sewer gnats. They have these fuzzy wings that are actually kind of large for a small fly. It makes them look like a tiny little moth. Unlike some pests we deal with, this is an entire family of insects. Remember back, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species? And there are about 2,600 species worldwide. The ones we're dealing with, mostly in the same genus, Psychoda. Like most of our small pest flies, these are often found in drains, sewers, other wet areas that have that organic buildup. Eggs are laid on that wet matter, larvae burrow in and feed on it, then they come out, pupate, and the adults do it all over again. This is whining about pest control. Here we go. Like most drain flies, you need to find the source. Get that source cleaned up. We've talked about drain sanitation before, so we're gonna whine about what not to do here. Let me tell you a quick story. I'm in a food plant and they have moth flies. They're coming from one drain. It, it's definitely this drain. They swore to me, they're cleaning every week, we swear. So I asked him to show me. The guy who typically did it got the cleaner, poured it down the drain. Didn't take that drain cap off, didn't get around the edges where some of the gunk was, and didn't get to the sides of that drain pipe. Just... We did some quick draining. Problem solved there. There's plenty of good drain cleaning and unclogging products, but they still have to get to the gunk. In this case, it was just going straight down the drain, not being very effective on all that buildup. This is also why foaming drain cleaners are a better option because that foam expands, it sticks, and then it breaks it down. Some other things that I've seen that you should not do, bleach and quaternary ammonia. Yes, those are strong chemicals. No, they don't break down all that buildup. Same thing with hot water. It may kill some of them that are on the surface of that gunk, but it's not gonna get into the mess and get it eliminated. Next thing I see, not to do, not cleaning enough. By the time you start to see those flies, there's probably a good sized food source that they're munching away on. Initially, that one treatment is not gonna cut it. And if there's a risk of moth flies, like in a food facility, those sensitive areas, cleaning needs to be done on a regular basis. Because these are gonna develop in about 14 days, so that regular cleaning breaks up their life cycle. It goes a long way in controlling these. Last point, is not finding all the sources. Just because one drain is found doesn't mean that they aren't under some loose tiles or behind a refrigerator, ice maker, or even in the walls when those water leaks happen. Moth flies are usually inside the structure, but remember I said I was in New England and saw these? They were coming from the outside. All that water, that wet decaying organic material and those temperatures, it was perfect for them. So don't automatically eliminate the outdoors as one of those sources. When moth flies appear inside a home or a business, it seems like a pretty easy fix. Eliminate the breeding ground, the problem is gone. Even something as simple as cleaning a drain can go wrong in a number of different ways. So that's all the whining I've got for you today. Don't lose your money down the drain because you have upset customers and callbacks. Follow me for lots more whining. Go ahead, have your glass, clean your pipes, and whine to me about your tough pest problems because I can help. Don't forget to share with all your coworkers and contenders so they can whine too. And until next time, cheers to those extraordinary little moth flies. Mm -hmm.